Now I'll take you through first entry, which is the most common one. Okay. Introduced rupees five lakh as cash in business as capital. So the entry relates to capital. Now, you know, as per the entity concept, the owner of the business is different and the business is different. When we make these entry, we make it from the perspective of the business. Okay. So what is happening here is you're getting five lakh rupees as cash in business as capital. So what are the accounts which are involved here? One is obviously cash and the second is capital. Okay. So from a perspective of business, what is happening is that the cash is coming in. So I write this as cash. I'm not taking this date into account or or everywhere let's take 1 1 2011 as the consistent date so there is an account which is cash cash is what an asset account and there is an increase in cash insofar as the business is concerned and we saw earlier that the rule is increase in an asset is debited so what do I do? I debit cash. How much? 5 lakh. So in the debit column, I put in 5 lakh as the debit amount. The second is capital. Capital is what? An independent account or you can say a credit account or a liability account, whatever you want to put it in. Now from the business perspective, what is happening is that the capital is also increasing. Right? And how much? 5 lakh. Now we saw earlier that for capital account, an increase fresh capital of rupees 10,000 increase is credited. Increase in a capital account is credited. So we credit capital account. And as I told you, instead of writing a credit here, what we do is we write to capital. And then I put in a small narration being capital introduced into business if you name know the name of the person you can write by x y z whatever it is okay now what can also happen in this case is that instead of introducing cash let's say he introduced cash 5 lakh and building 3 lakh as capital let's say this is entry number two on two one eleven so two one two thousand eleven so what is happening is the business is getting cash so there is no problem cash account please always account write this account thing here debited five lakh now what the business is also getting is a building worth rupees 3 lakh. Now building is what? Building falls into the category of an asset account. Now from a business perspective, please note we are preparing these books for the business and not for the proprietor. From a business perspective, an asset is coming in or it is increasing. Increase in an asset is what 
increase is debited. So I debit my building account by 3 lakh. Right? So if the debit is 8 lakhs, 5 plus 3, the credit also has to be 8 lakh. But where does this amount go? Where does this amount go? This entire money and the value of the building which the business is getting is payable to the owner because he is the owner of the capital. So you would credit to capital account. And when you write the narration, you write being capital introduced into the business, cash 5 lakh and building 3 lakh. So the narration remain the same, you just write being capital introduced into the business by whosoever in the form of cash 5 lakh, building 3 lakh.